Well, welcome back everybody. And today you join me and Chris back at Chesil at Abbotsbury. And we walked a fair way past the teeth today. And it's a mid-afternoon towards the end of July. And we've arrived just about dead on low water. We've got about a nine o'clock high, high tide tonight. And we're gonna fish till the early hours. Just gonna get this one out. So I've got plain Bristol Channel lug on that with a couple of floaty beads. I've got a rag on the other rod. Size 4 hooks, Sakumas. It's quite blowy, don't mind that. It's very warm. I think during the next few daylight hours our best chances of fish are going to be Place or Gurnard or something like that. But I would imagine the prospects of Smooth Hound or something better, Bass maybe, when it gets dark are quite good. tide's pulling beautifully at the moment. You can see the lovely bend in the rods there. Which is what we want. You can find tidal movement, that's half the battle. Tidal movement and fish. Evening, darkness, early morning. It does increase your chances. That's the first cast out. Lovely to be back on our favourite beach. That looks perfect. Right, let's see how we get on. Well, as you can see, it's getting pretty wild out of here. Bright sun, big waves, no fish. Although Chris has just managed to get a couple of mackerel. But it's hard going at the moment. Just need to wait for that sun to go down a bit. There's a lot of weed out there as well, which isn't helping matters. Well done, Chris. Reward for perseverance, that was. Getting a bit wild out there. Eventually. This is it starting to get dark. First proper bite of the day. Oh, 
It's definitely a fish, he says, confidently. I'm saying bream, but I could be wrong. About time too! <laughs> Lovely little fish. Look at the size of that bait I had. <laughs> but there's the benefit of using size 4 hooks. Right, let's pop him back and see if there's some more out there. Feels like another dogfish to be honest. have certainly picked up since darkness. Still very windy. Another dogfish, and he's across my other line. by spiders and weed. The wind's still with us, but as it's got dark we've had numerous species, the bream, small codling if you can believe it, pouts, dogfish, strap conga. On the left hand rod I've just put out a mackerel head about 40 yards out, which is about as close as I dare go in this a little bit of a bass, you never know, although I've just had a strap on that. It's a bit of a wild night, but it just shows you the benefit of staying into darkness really on Chesil. It's a different beach now, we're getting bites every cast. Bite. They're coming thick and fast now. <laughs> no idea. It's like a different beach when it gets dark. It's not very big. No. It was a good one. Ooh. 
dogfish, I think. It's like a different beach, isn't it? Believe it, we've got to caught another bloody cod. So, look at it. Hey, slippery little sucker. Yeah, two cod. End of July. Mind you, it's the weather for it. I don't know what this is. Another nice little bream. He swallowed that. Well, that's about the end of it now. We've run out of bait. It's getting on for one o'clock in the morning. Hang on, there's a bite. Snap line it. Is he going to get anything? My last cast. And we'll see if that develops on the right hand rod. Anyway, as I was saying, shows you the benefit really of staying on into darkness. There were just no fish within casting range during the daylight hours. But come darkness, we've had three bream. Bizarrely, a couple of codling. Pouts, eels, dogs. I think something's having a go at that mackerel head on the left hand rod as well. But it's not a bass. Anyway, an enjoyable session. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Cheers, everyone.